Hey everybody, welcome to your weekly energy update. And we have a very full week coming in. Um, I did want to let you know that the monthlies for each zodiac sign are already out. They came out last week. So those will be linked in a playlist at the end of the video if you want to check those out. Also, we have the Lion's Gate energy for the portal coming up on August 8th is like the day, but we already are starting to be impacted by those energies. So those will come into the reading this week. I am putting out each individual readings for each zodiac sign for the lion's gate as well and they'll come out staggered uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday of this following week as well so i'm excited because we have that sun and leo energy coming in um, you know that aligns with the star sirius and the ryan's belt and earth so it's a great manifesting energy that's coming in like creation birthing of things also all that energy of the eighth house and all the eights that um, go on with that with the strength card uh, being the number eight in the major arcana which is all about bridging between the human and the higher self the energy of the eighth house which is ruled by scorpio brings in power transformation energy passion so fire 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 a beautiful just spark of uh, burst of energy and creativeness and manifestation coming in. So I'm going to have, of course, a reading for each individual zodiac sign for this weekly energy update. And we're going to jump into yours right now. And before we jump into your reading, I just wanted to make a quick announcement that I'm going to be having a drawing once I reach a thousand or more subscribers on my YouTube channel. I will be having a drawing for 10, yes, 10 one hour personal readings for 10 lucky individuals. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate you considering doing so. And and if you do, make sure to click on the little uh, alarm button to be notified and select the all option so that when I reach a thousand subscribers, I will put out a special video letting you know how you can enter that drawing. So uh, I really appreciate all of you watching and we'll get into your reading now. All right, all you Tauruses, this is your weekly energy update. And we're going to start off by pulling a card here from the Sacred Forest Oracle. Any of the cards I use in a reading, I do list in the description box below. We'll give these a good shuffle and see what Spirit wants you to know about the energies of this week, this magical energies. I was drawn to pull the Sacred Forest Oracle and a couple fairy cards that energy does feel very magical so spirit what would you like our taurians to know about this energy of the week please okay they do want that one right there and do you have the bee spirit prosperity be prosperous i love it and that's card number number five some great changes in your prosperity coming let's see what they would like to tell you here so it says, in the meadow, the flowers are heady with their sweet scents. Bees flit from flower to flower, their droning sounding like the combined chants of a thousand monks. As you watch, you can sense their focus on productivity and working in community. The result of their industry is golden amber honey. So this card can be a wonderful sign that abundance and sweet energy is coming your way. It can also be a card of productivity and organization. So if you've been indecisive, disorganized, and unfocused, this card can mean that it's time to focus. Reprioritize your life. Have you been too busy with nothing to show for all your work? Decide what is most important and take steps in those directions. Yeah, I love that. I'm getting a message um, saying sometimes we can get distracted by urgent when they're really not important. So if something shows up and it's like urgent, 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 kind of gauge it against your North Star of is this important for what I'm needing to accomplish and what I'm wanting for my life? And sometimes urgent things can just be let go, even if that means saying no or something just falls away. It's like, it's okay, I didn't need that. 
And then it says to activate the prosperity you desire. This card can also signify that it's time to work hard. Be willing to put in time and energy and your goals will be attained. Your efforts will pay off. Bees work together, so also consider whose energy aligns with yours and how you might collaborate to achieve your desires. By doing this, good fortune will ensue. Throughout history, bees and their productivity are admired because they bring us honey, which is associated with the sweetness of life, nourishment, and wealth. Honey is also associated with gold in many legend. So the message bee spirit brings is that with diligent work, you will gain gold. And then the spirit of bee says the sweet abundance of the universe is flowing into your life. However, you need to take action and perhaps join with others to align with the frequency of your dreams. Believe that you deserve and your goal will unfold. I love that. So definitely clarity around what your dream is. Are you investing your energy in your dream or is it being spent in things that are wasting your energy? And I love that message about consider what other individuals that their energy aligns with yours while also realizing what energy does not and make some adjustments accordingly. We're also going to pull from these healing with the fairies oracle and see what else they'd like to add into this. All right, so what else for Artorians? What else would you like them to know about this energy this week? Nope. What else around this energy? All right, there we go. <laughs> and you have new opportunity. Perfect. <laughs> yes. New opportunities coming in. I really feel when you get this clarity and you invest this energy in your dreams, it's like identify your dreams and you pour your energy into it. Um, and you, it doesn't feel exhausting when you do that. When you're focusing on your dream, you like wake up early, you have all this extra energy where you wouldn't have it before. But if you're waking up in the morning going, oh crap, I got to go live my dream today, then that's not your dream. That's a good indicator of, for you. But now you're like, yes, and it's opening up these new opportunities coming in for you. Let's see what else they want to add here. So it says, be aware of a huge new opportunity being presented to you. It is safe for you to trust and enter into this new realm. A momentous opportunity is being presented to you. It could be in the form of someone making a business proposal to you, a new idea that enters your mind, or an investment opportunity. It could even come in the form of a loss in which you are about to gain something even more suitable. So something being removed out of your life to make space for this new thing coming in. Even though you may feel intimidated or unqualified to move to the next level, be assured that heaven is reaching its hand through the window, guiding and protecting you as you soar upward. If you need help trusting the validity of the new opportunity, pray for spiritual guidance. You will soon believe in the trustworthiness of this gift, and you will know that you deserve heaven's help. The affirmation for this is I notice and embrace the new opportunities that are now in my life. Beautiful. And I like that because they also mention like of the tower moment that could happen where it's possible, like the one that pops into my head is you lose your job. And this is a general reading. This is, this is just an example. It doesn't mean all of you are going to lose your job, but it's like an example of you lose a job that was sucking the life out of you. And now, because of it, you have an opportunity to spend that energy and, that in, and uh, invest your ideas and your mental, your mental energy, your physical energy, your emotional energy, just your overall even spiritual energy into this dream instead of uh, working 90 hours a week on a salaried position. You end up getting an hourly position, may not be as much money but it's enough to survive off of 
and you actually feel like you're living instead of existing. So that's the kind of thing that can happen for you. And then this is the fairy tarot cards. We'll see what else they would like to add into this energy for you this week. And one more time. All right, so what else for Artorians? What do you want them to know about this energy for this week, please? All right. So these are your cards. Get them all pretty like. <laughs> all right. And then we'll start with this one down here. And you've got life experience, the tower moment. So definitely this is letting you know that no matter what comes your way with something being removed out of it, just know that it's happening on purpose for purpose for you. That this thing that was in your life, um, though it may have been sustaining you maybe, it's not um, what's perfect for the next stage that you're headed into. The example that they've been giving me recently, which I love, is like, consider that you inherited property and there's this old home on it that's actually been like uh, deemed unfit to live in. And, uh, and like the floors are unsafe, people would fall through it or things might fall on them or the gas line might explode. You know, it's like condemned is the word I was looking for. It's a condemned building. And you're like, okay, well, this is a nice you know, having the property is good, but that thing on there is not doing me any good. And then the next, you know, couple of days, this giant thunderstorm comes in and this huge lightning bolt goes down and <laughs> strikes the building, burns it down. And so, you know, the uh, insurance company comes in and they deem it, yep, it's a total loss. They clear it all away. They rebuild a new structure that's more modern, more fitting to the direction that you're headed. So even though it was like, oh my gosh, there was this destruction, you realize, wow, it happened for me, not to me. So again, while the fires happening while they're clearing away the rubble while you're going through the insurance discussions with the insurance company going through the waiting of the new thing being built when the thing is built you suddenly realize oh this did happen for me so love it then you have the two of summer which is the two of cups and the two of cups brings in this wonderful message that it's all about emotions and then in every moment you have a choice of what emotion you want to choose. It's two emotions. It's either going to be an emotion of unconditional love connected to the higher realms or of the fear of losing conditional love, the fear of rejection. Every moment we get to choose between the two. Neither is wrong, but when you grow tired of feeling one, the awareness of your power to choose between the emotional experience is yours. Now, you may not feel like you can make choices when it becomes uh, to emotions because sometimes it feels like something happens and this is how I feel. I didn't have a choice. It just is what it is. Well, Spirit, you know, when, when I first was told that message, I felt the same way. <laughs> and Spirit sent me down and basically showed that every human when they're younger as children are given popular opinion on what something means when it happens, like what story you are supposed to apply to it, but also what emotion you're supposed to feel as you go through it. And it's reiterated over and over and over again where that opinion becomes your belief, which becomes your habit of how you feel about a situation or what you choose to feel as you go through something. And then it also becomes our reaction where it doesn't even feel like we are making a choice. But we can create a new habit and choose to feel a different way if we so choose as we go through things, which allows us to look at every life experience that happens, feel less out of control. Because if we're told that when this thing happens, this is how you have to feel, then we do feel out of control. But if we realize this power to choose our emotion, 
then whatever happens, we get to choose differently. And it might take some practice, takes time to create a new habit, but you can eventually choose that when something happens that you choose to be happy or grateful or whatever around it, like losing that job. You can choose to be grateful over losing a job instead of devastated. So I love this message for you. Then you have the Eight of Spring, which is the Eight of Wands. This is your passion, your drive, your inspiration. It's your energy overall. And I love this because this is about abundance of energy returning back to you, like this flood of energy returning back, which makes total sense because when you identify your dream, identify what you want to invest into it, you do have this unbridled amount of energy that returns to you because you don't feel like you're investing your energy into a black hole anymore when you're trying to live someone else's dream that was given to you and told, hey, this is your dream. You're like, oh, okay. But instead you're like, no, thank you. I'm going to choose my real dream. Then you have this flood of energy that comes back um, to you for, because of that. So... And then you have the star. Yes, beautiful hope, uh, realization. Oh, there was so much energy coming in. Actually, the camera turned off. <laughs> so you have the star card coming in here, which, like I said, represents hope, represents you. This is the connection to the star that you really are. The brightness, this, uh, like in the darkness that could come that is when you shine the most. When there's all this darkness and all this stuff going on in the world, this is you shining bright, showing your dream, allowing yourself to shine. I mean, you got number 16, which is the tower where things are removed out of your life, which allows the, the light and the energy to shine where it really is. I mean, you have this bright energy coming in with this eight of wands coming in, and then you have the star card showing that it's time for you to be the center of the movie not to be the supporting cast in something but you get to be the star of your own show you get to you know you might like like it mentioned here you might coordinate and interact with others but it's not about you being i don't feel like it's like partnership where it's equal partnership it's more people that are coming in to help support you it's like you being the queen bee or the king bee however you identify <laughs> but that you have all this other support where it's changing the story is changing for you now where instead of you being feeling like a drone where you're supporting others dreams that this is the time for you to express this dream and for you to shine bright and to have this beautiful beautiful manifestation all this energy coming in with this lion's gate portal is coming in for you bringing in this beauty bringing in this success this productivity this wholeness and this completeness so i love where this energy is taking you just remember if anything comes in is removed out of your life whether it is maybe you have a partnership even where that partner leaves and you're like, oh my gosh, you feel like you're left holding the bag in a way. Just know whatever the situation happens that it is happening for you and it's time for you to shine, baby, for you to shine. So I love this message coming in here for you. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also put out a variety of other videos, one being monthly readings for each zodiac sign, which August is already out there. So I'll have that linked in a playlist here in just a moment. Also, the Lionsgate's videos are coming out. And for Earth Signs, I believe it's on Thursday. But if you don't want to miss out when any of those new videos come out, if you want to know immediately when those are available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button, also click the subscribe button and that gives you access to the notification bell. If you go into that notification bell and select the all option, then you will be notified immediately when any new videos come out on this channel. Also, doing those things helps spread the love because, um, and also, I'm sorry, it also helps my channel grow in significant ways because when you like a video, share a video, comment on a video, and subscribe to the channel. Doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy happy, wants to share the videos of this channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of that, I am very, very grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and all that information is listed in the description box below. 
All right, all you mighty Torians, as you go throughout this adventure, please know every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.